one of the pieces of kit that can be quite expensive if you go out and, and buy them is a water filter. Uh, I decided to make my own filter um, principally because I, I always treat my water chemically either with iodine or chlorine but oftentimes the, the water sources that you're using are kind of suspect and uh, they can look quite chewable so what I'd like to do is get all the junk out of there before I treat my water chemically. The filter that I uh, is my own design here. Um, it does not treat water 100%. It gets the junk out of it so you can treat it chemically which makes your water uh, better tasting and a little more appealing. The, uh, this filter is designed to remove things from the water but it doesn't remove uh, everything. So when you use this filter you have to use some kind of chemical means or boiling afterwards. Uh, this is just a way of cleaning up water so it will be more effective to treat it chemically. The filter itself is very simple. It's just made out of PVC. This is 20 millimeter uh, PVC pipe which uh, I've got uh, two sections, an upper section and a lower section and then the little end here is a, a nozzle with a little piece of rubber on there to help the water get into the canteen better. I've been using this system in Brazil for about eight years now and uh, I have never had a waterborne illness um, when using this filter with the chemical means. The pieces of the filter are quite simple. Uh, there's two sections of 20 millimeter PVC which are have been sanded so they fit in the, the pipe joints so you can take it apart and put it together but it has to fit snugly so that it doesn't fall apart in the bush. The upper section of the PVC just has a section, a small wad of uh, synthetic fiber that was uh, bought in a pet store. This is not cotton, it's synthetic. Uh, it, cotton doesn't work very well but that's the pre-filter. As the water comes in the filter it first passes through the little wad of fiber that removes all the leaf debris and uh, large organisms, whatever, uh, can't get through that, fi that filter. The bottom section is filled with charcoal pellets, activated charcoal pellets, which I also bought in a pet store. Uh, this is uh, used normally for repacking uh, aquarium filters. Between the uh, carbon and the fiber is a small uh, plastic disc I've created to fit inside the tube, which uh, keeps the, the charcoal in place and uh, that just fits inside, inside the uh, pipe joint. There's a little ring which keeps the two pipes uh, evenly spaced in there and the uh, top section will trap that piece of plastic in the there. The pipe reducer on the end channels the water down through the small section of uh, inner tube rubber so it falls into the canteen nice and easy. It fits in the top of the canteen. So there you have it. Uh, very simple fast flow filter. Uh, basically how I use this in the bush is I'll set it up on top of the canteen and then I'll use my canteen cup to fill raw water from whatever source stream or pond or lake or whatever through the top. The water passes through the, the top of the filter. Um, usually what happens is it'll, it'll fill up and then slowly drain down through the carbon down below but it'll fill up this tube and as it drains down I just keep adding more. Uh, the, the water first passes through the wad of uh, fiber synthetic fiber and that drains out all the suspended particles, large things that you would want to drink or have in your canteen. It then passes through the screen which is trapped in the middle and then, then that pre-filtered water then travels down, uh, drains down through the carbon pellets and uh, that'll trap all kinds of suspended particles or microorganisms and all sorts of things which then passes down through the reducer which uh, the water then is channeled down through the uh, little nozzle which is made out of rubber on the bottom and the water comes out very clear uh, on the other end of it. Much better uh, tasting and much uh, much more effective to treat it chemically after that with either iodine tablets, iodine drops or chlorine uh, tablets or drops. So like I said I've used this filter now for eight years in Brazil. I've never had a problem with it. I've made other versions of it which are much larger uh, which I use when I take groups out in the bush. We usually have one or two of these, uh, the large ones set up at the camp, they have a much wider mouth, and uh, they're much e much faster for uh, treating larger quantities of water. But uh, there's really no need to go out and buy a expensive filter. I do have an Explorer, uh, a Pure Explorer, which I paid $150 for. I I use it very rarely because it's very large. You do get very high quality water out of such filters. But I found if I'm going to treat chemically anyway, uh, it's a much lighter system to use, and this takes up very little room in my pack. And it cost about three dollars to make, which, uh, because I'm excessively cheap, I like very much. So if you want to make one of these, uh, there's nothing patentable here. It's just uh, basically a fish filter in a tube. Thanks for watching.